Hi, I'm Steve from Norfolk and Good Road to Self Sufficiency, and um, a good day and a fairly good evening because uh, the three lions have just beaten Germany 2 0. So I thought I'd give you a little guided tour to what's been going on on the plot recently. Like most of you, you've probably been very, very busy uh, gathering produce and um, just getting those plants sorted out because this is a beautiful time of the year, isn't it? When everything's growing and we're getting loads of stuff. Sorry, there's loads of flies around. So, But I'll just give you a little bit of an update on uh, what's going on. So I'll switch the camera around and uh, show you what's been happening. I'll see you in a bit. So first off, let me up you, update you on the um, uh, compost. Uh, last video I showed you that bay was full and I've riddled that through and have got just loads and loads of bags of homemade compost so that's brilliant. A uh, friend asked me to cut some holly trees down so I've got some holly wood there, really hard stuff that's so be really nice ready to burn and we're just getting a bit of a move on the compost heaps there. <coughs> the artichokes doing really really well so I'm looking forward to harvesting them rhubarb's coming on I'm not actually taking a crop of that yet so must get a uh, rhubarb crumble or a rhubarb pile I tell you what pork of loin loin of pork even cooked with rhubarb is really tasty and then we've got what I call plot six I'm planting out some more stuff in here today Got some radachios, got some more beetroot, got some more lettuces, and some more spinach. So, plot six is coming on really, really well. I'm really impressed with that. I've had quite a bit of stuff out of that already. Uh, plot four's not been doing too well. Although, some of the onions, particularly the white ones, are doing alright. Uh, red onions, I've never really had much success growing them from sets, so I might just carry on growing them from seed next year. And the potatoes are just looking absolutely magnificent. So in there we've got our mains, we've got our second earl is there as well. Look at the flowers on them, they're just beautiful. So fingers crossed we're going to have some good potatoes from them. We've got some first early still growing there, along with some of the riddled compost next to them. And the brassica bed. I say brassica, I've got all sorts of different things in here. And that's a good thing about uh, no-dig gardening. When you build the soil up, you don't have to rotate plants, you can intercrop stuff. So we've got some Pompeii spring onions doing really well there. Ooh. Kale here doing really well. Some of the cabbages and sprouts are doing are coming on. But just round here. Don't know whether you can see in there. Got my first cauliflower. So I'm really pleased with that. Mark station's doing really well. Keep maintaining it. We got some lovely trusted tomatoes coming on there. I do try and take all the leaves off slowly below the first truss. So every time I go around to just work on the potatoes, I just take an extra leaf off the bottom until I've got all of the leaves off below the first truss try and leave the leaves on as long as I can let them photosynthesize and over here we've got radishes doing absolutely fabulous climbing beans mange two peas 
you know they're all going to be lovely ready for picking but actually I might pick some of these now because the more you pick them the more you get and they've just gone mental got cabbage growing in the middle of those run of beans ready to grow up there some courgettes growing with peas ready to start climbing up this frame more runner beans here they're doing all right but the king the king of the garden at the moment are these gourds just look at them they're just fabulous and they're just growing along the seat of gourd so I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what they do never grown them before but they seem to be growing really really well so maybe I need to uh, chop them down a little bit just to get them to channel some of their energy into actually growing the gourds rather than growing all of these beautiful leaves that are just awesome just fabulous it's just so cool I've decided that I've not got enough room to grow everything that I want to do so I'm gonna start converting that area there into more growing beds a little bit of a disappointment has been sweet corn production as I think I said in my last video very few of them actually germinated so I've got them in here put a few radishes uh, sorry a few lettuces in there to fill the gap up today nasturtiums are growing well a little bit disappointed with me autumn sown broad beans not in that the broad beans are, are no good but even though I've pinched the tops out I am starting to get some black fly on them so I'm gonna to have to spray them with a soap solution tomorrow so all in all really pleased with what I've achieved in my first year of no dig gardening everything's coming on really really well uh, Tomato station there, as I said before, got calendulas got planted growing around the edges. They're doing really well. Hopefully, they'll start flowering soon. All in all, not a bad effort for a first year at gardening on the no dig principle. Strawberry bed. These strawberries here were planted early this year. But I was in a fortunate position that I was able to get to the plot and plant these strawberries here late last year. So they're coming on well. And as you can see, we got plenty of plants flowering with lots of strawberries coming on. So I'm just going to shut up now, let you listen to the birds for a minute, and then I'll say goodbye. thought I'd bring you into the uh, growing room brewing room here we've got our garlic just sort of drying out um, this side here these are the elephant garlics I'm going to save them for seeds for next year and these we're going to eat uh, they're my seed garlic for next year I mean they are just beautiful just awesome and most of these will will eat not all garlic goes well sometimes we get some that split so they're all ready for 
just use just as soon as we need them and we get through a lot of garlic uh, this is turning into a bit of a brewing room so I've done a bit of home brew and some white wine so here in the corner we've got um, just starting off with a kit wine to start with so there's about uh, I think I worked out there's about 22 bottles of wine there from a kit and then as produce comes, starts coming out of the garden we we'll start to make our own um, but yeah so this is the the brew room got the notice board there we've got all the stuff ready up there and the glasses and what have you so yeah it's all coming on very pleased with what we've got going on next job is to pull down the falling shed so thank you so much for watching if you followed it this far brilliant welcome board um, first year is always a learning year you're never going to get everything right I've had some failures but lots of successes and that's just what drives you on you just got to keep the faith and keep growing because why wouldn't you no it's just it's just a beautiful thing to do is to grow vegetables to feed your family and feed yourselves so if any of you are losing heart stick with it keep going but for now i've got to go and cook some tea so uh, thanks for watching thanks for listening thanks for putting up with me um if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button down below give me a thumbs up always good to get thumbs up and if you have any comments any feedback please just put it in the comments down there and uh, we'll interact and we can all grow as a gardening community so that's just fantastic so thank you so much and i'll uh, see you soon bye